Most churches, buses, and many homes and cars contain a first aid kit. These kits often contain life-saving materials that can be used to provide immediate assistance to someone in need after suffering a cut, a burn, or a bite from an animal. What do we do, though, when we encounter someone with an emotional need? You know, over the course of your life, you are going to come into contact with people suffering from far more emotional needs than physical needs. We need an emotional first aid kit. If you think about it, Jesus has already instructed Christians to have an emotional first aid kit. He told those who were hurting to come to him. But he doesn't have an office at the local hospital, so how do people find him? Well, they find him in the Christian. The Christian is to be his ambassador, his hands, his feet, and to bear the burdens of others. So that means all of us are called to render emotional first aid. Think about the people that you interact with on a daily basis. You come across these people at church, in your neighborhood, at work, and even in your own family. How many times has someone shared with you about a difficulty they are having, grieving or battling with depression? Perhaps they've discussed emotional problems or learning problems their child was having. With the kit, you simply give them the booklet that addresses the problem they are having to provide them with the tool to address their concern. You'll also find a revised version of the First Aid for Emotional Hurts book. The book describes the basic skills you need to utilize when administering emotional first aid. I hope you will take these resources and use them to help others who are struggling with these emotional problems.